It's Chris and thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a follow-up to my one of my more recent videos when I reviewed the Randolph Engineering Concord. I was hoping to get a hold of a pair with bayonet temples and I talked about that in that video and that's what I have done. So I'm doing a quick kind of hopefully concise review on the pair with bayonet temples. If you want to know a little bit more about Randolph Engineering as a whole or you want a more in-depth review, I'm also going to put my last one in a card up above so that you're not kind of like, what's going on with this brand? I've never heard of this. Having said that, I am going to try to move quickly along into the video. So um, here we go. Um, same case, same box, and I have the same dimensions as last time with the frame. So. This is the Bright Chrome Frame Tan Non-Polarized Lenses. They're also 57 millimeters. That's the only size in Randolph that I wear. Um, again, what I noticed directly out of the box was perfectly fitted nose pads. These things are adjusted to perfection, and that's what I find every single time with Randolph Aviators. So here you can see the bayonet temples, and I'm going to get into that just a little bit more in the coming minutes. Um, but again, you have the Randolph Made in USA on the inside, and then in the see-through bayonet temple, you can see Randolph USA. Also on the outside, you've also got the RE, same as the last pair. So the first thing I noticed is the fit looked perfect. Um, I noticed the proper curvature on this pair, whereas on the last one I kind of got kind of a fluke. Um, because even with the temples open all the way up, they kind of tilted inward to create a V shape like that, which caused like an extreme pressure on my temples. This wouldn't, I mean, even fully open, there was nothing I could do. So I was just hoping, had my fingers crossed that this would work, and it definitely did. So when I opened these up, I noticed that the fit looked a lot better, and I could definitely tell that these were going to feel much better on as well. So when I put them on, the bayonet temples are, are, you have to kind of get used to them if you're not used to them because um, they go straight back and they sit at about this point on my head. And um, I'm used to the curvature behind my ears with the skull temple. But all in all, they're very comfortable. I also had my boyfriend try them on and he thought they were very comfortable as well. So you also don't have nearly as much slippage as you do with the skull temple. I think that not only the sleek design and flat that helps helmets come on and off, um, but the fact that they have more of an even fit as far as pressure points on your head. Um, so you're not getting it too tight here, too loose back here, or really, really tight with the skull and looser up here. These don't hardly wobble at all. Um, as far as slippage goes, they do work their way down my nose if I'm, if I'm really, really shaking my head. And I did notice the other day when I had my hair pulled back that they slipped down quite a bit more. But other than that, I have to worry much, much less with bayonet temples than skull. So, um, as far as the polarized lenses, in the other pair that I had, they're only slightly different than these tan non-polarized lenses. Um, they have more of a brown tint. I prefer that looking out of them a little more outside, but I don't notice anything in terms of uh, any differences in terms of sun protection. I get just the same amount. Um, the only thing with the polarized may be just a little bit of reduced glare. Other than that, there are no differences, and I really like this this tan lens too. So. Um, Overall, this is a great pair of sunglasses. I would highly, highly recommend the Bayonet Temples. If you're, if, if not for, you know, tactical or flight or anything like that and you just want a better fit, I would completely suggest them for that as well. So, I also really, really like this frame variation, this lens um, frame combination, because um, if you're fair like me and dark complected, whether you are a male or female, you might find that the like, gold frames wash you out, and that's a problem that I had a lot with aviators. Um, but the silver definitely complements me more, and if the bright chrome is not for you, then you can always try the matte chrome, which is a little duller, and then you've got gunmetal as well. So there's pretty much endless combinations with um, these aviators. The Concorde is a classic, just as much so as the original aviator, and if you haven't checked these out already, I would definitely do so. 
So I really, really hope that you enjoy this video, that you got a little bit of use out of it. And um, again, I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Thanks.